Ladies and gentlemen, honorable members of the dais, uh, Ms. Blair, who's flown out just for this, it gives me great pleasure to welcome you on behalf of HSBC and ACCESS to the first Microfinance India Award Ceremony. Having said that, I do believe each one of you deserves an award for surviving a very long day and being here with us today. I do believe this is a very important part of today's proceedings because today we have a chance to come together and celebrate the successes of people who are critical and have been key to our businesses uh, in the microfinance space in the country. Now, India clearly has had, a, I think, a huge success in terms of the growth of the sector. I know some part of the day has been spent deliberating on what is going wrong, as indeed we must. And I do think we as Indians are very good at self-flagellation. Uh, we tend to maybe be harder on ourselves than we need to. It is good to reflect on that that is not working. But today, we are here to remind ourselves about all that is working. Now, very, very quickly, I think just some of the key themes that uh, I would like to touch on are, first and foremost, as I touched uh, on my morning opening speech, uh, the whole space of livelihood creation and how that sits alongside microfinance. And it doesn't necessarily have to be driven in the same microfinance institution, it can be driven alongside it. It's very important to get our governance structures right as we drive this effort. But I do believe we need to have livelihood creation as in entrepreneurship developing at the same pace as microfinance so that the two can go hand in hand. I think a second theme that I'd like to just throw out is that we are into now what is a new era where small-scale community lending programs are consolidating, where we are seeing operations that are attracting increasing interest from commercial banks and from the capital markets. And as that process continues, as indeed it is right now, it's going to become very important for us to ensure that the climate is right to have enough of this funding coming in the right way, whether it's capital markets or bank debt, or ultimately individual savings as well. I see a very familiar blue turban coming, I hope towards the dais. Montega, are you not going to join us? You are going to join us. Terrific. Well, let's give you a hand just for that. <laughs> A third area, which is one of increasing importance, and at least with the institutions we've talked with today, the whole HR space, the space of organization, the skill set of how the organization is set out, but also the people that drive that growth beyond the founder, beyond, beyond the CEO, is a very important aspect as we look at this development. And lastly, that we need to benchmark best practice. What is best practice? We need to continuously measure, we need to make sure that we reject the bad and that we move on and continue to, as we benchmark success, also to celebrate success. And that is a key reason we are here today to celebrate the success of those in the microfinance sector who have evolved significantly over the last 15 years. We had a number of excellent applications, as in these were really nominations, others who nominated people. Every one of them was a brilliant uh, example of what is working.
it made our choice extremely difficult, needless to say. A rigorous process was put in place. Uh, we had uh, a very important set of financial criteria, and then the jury sat and deliberated this. Uh, and I must say, the choices are never easy in such a situation. How this rigorous process certainly helped us select the finalists, and I'm now going to let Professor Malcolm Harper tell you about the selection process. But the discussion was certainly a very, very important, a very fruitful one, one which I benefited from. And the distinguished jury ensured that at the end of this deliberation, we picked what was really, to our mind, the right choice for the awards this year. I would like to congratulate every one of you who was nominated because each of you has contributed, each of you has made a mark, each of you has certainly ensured that the world, let alone India, is a better place to be as a result. I now call upon Professor Malcolm Harper to say a few words on behalf of the jury members and share with us the selection process.